Hello everyone this is my next video today i'm going to explain this school question number 876 middle of the linked list given the edge of a singly linked list written the middle node of the linked list if there are two middle nodes written the second middle node see what they given they given on linked list okay we need to return the middle node of the linked list if there are two middle nodes see if there are two middle nodes then we need to return the second node in the example one what they given they given nodes 1 2 3 4 5 and your middle node is c we need to print 3 4 5 in an example two it is a even if even means we will get two nodes middle nodes then we need to return from second node onwards okay here 1 2 3 4 5 6 are nodes we are returning here 4 5 6 so let's we can understand proper in the whiteboard see in the example one what they told these are nodes okay 1 2 3 4 5 5 this is the middle node okay we need to print 3 4 5 5 another new linked list okay if it is odd linked list means just we are there will be only one uh, middle node from that we are returning where it comes to the here even linked list okay there are there will be a two middle nodes okay then we need to return the second middle node onwards the output will be 4 5 6 This is the mid, uh, new middle node linked list. Okay, in this we will print three, four, five. Okay, this is the question they told. Okay, what I am using the logic now I will show. See what I will do. I will take one extra node as temp. It will pointing to the end. Okay, after that I will be taking one variable len. It will be starting to zero. It will pointing to here. when it will reaches it will go on increment okay up to it will work the temp of next should be not equals to null until it will work okay uh, now our temp is not not null so we are incrementing len by 1 now our len is pointing to 2 now len is incremented to 2 now len is pointing to 3 it is incremented to 3 now len is pointing to 4 it is incremented to Four. Now len is incremented to five. Yeah, it is incremented to five. Okay. Now we came to null. Then it will stop. Okay. Then what I will do? I will do len equals to len divided by two. Here yeah, len is five. I will do five divided by two. It is getting two point five. I will down up. I will do down round off. Okay. Five by two. Here I will get two. Okay. What I will do? I will take again one for loop. I will start from zero. It will travel up to length times. Okay. What I will do? Just I will do one logic. I will use add equals to add next. From where the middle node will stops now? Then that from that onward they will print. When my add will be when my when this when it is pointing to one, it will print two. when my uh, it is pointing to it will print 3 okay we came middle node after coming middle node just what we are doing we are printing 3 4 and 5 this is the logic of this code let's we can proper understand in the uh, coding section starting what i done i take on one uh, temporary variable temp node it is initialized to add okay after that I take on one method to traverse. I take on one variable len. I initialize it to zero. This condition will work when my temp is not equals to null. Then what I will do? I will temp. I will go to next the temp of next. Then each time I will increment my len. After completing traversing of all the all the elements, means after traversing all the nodes, I will come out of this while loop. What I will do? I will len divided by two. I will be setting len. After that, I take another for loop. It will travels up to len times. Okay, end of end next. When I will get middle node, no? from that onwards I will be return. How it is going to work? Let's see. Let's we can dry run. For starting, I take on one list node temp equals to end. It is end. Okay, starting is end. I take on one temp node. I will be uh, assigned to this first node. Okay, starting our len will be zero. Temp equals to temp next. It will be moving to this node. Then our len will be incremented by one. 
So 10, uh, 10 equals to 10 next. Now we are, it is pointing to 3. It is incremented by 2. Uh, now it is not null. So now my, uh, my temp will be 10 next. It will point into 4. Then it is incremented by 3. Now temp because temp of next. Next it is pointing to 5. Now len is incremented by 4. Len equals to len divided by 2 we will do. Where len is 4. 4 divided by 2. I am getting 2. Okay. After that uh, we have traversed all these elements. Uh, len will be 2 now. If we start from 0, it will travel up to 0 is less than 2. See, when my i is 0, 0 less than 2. Yeah, this condition is true. It is pointing to head of next. Head of next is 2. My i will be incremented by 1. Condition 1 is less than 2. Yeah, this is true. Now, it is pointing to 3. Ah, here, we got middle node. From middle node, what we are doing? We are returning up to n times, up to n times. Okay. So, we are returning head. We are printing 3, 4, 5 as new middle link list. So this is the logic of this code. Now we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking b of n plus b of n by 2. Because we are here traversing all the n times and here we are traversing up to n by, means up to n by 2 times. So it is taking the time complexity of big of n plus big of n by 2. When it comes to the space complexity, it is taking big of 1. Because we are not using any extra space, it takes only constant amount of space. To reduce the time complexity, there is another logic by using slow and fast pointer. Okay, let's we can discuss that one. This is an efficient solution. Okay, uh, I will take two variables. One is slow and other is fast. Both are pointing to end starting. Here my slow will be moved by one step moved by one step and my first is moved by two step okay that we should keep in our mind uh, the slow will be pointing to here now my slow will be pointing to here my first is pointing to here okay now my slow will be pointing to here my first will be pointing to here yeah when it reaches to the last node See, in the odd case, our first is not, should be not equals to null. Then we will not do this task, okay. When it is fast, is not equals to null, just we are returning our slow. Where is pointing to our slow? Our pointing slow is to 3. From that, we are returning 3, 4, 5. This is the logic of this code. For even, what will happen, we can see. For even, just fast of next should be not equals to null. Up to that, the condition will be work. Okay. See, my slow and fast are pointing to the first. Means end. Okay. My slow will be point by one. My slow will be here. My fast will be starting to third node. Okay. Now, my slow will be pointing to the third node. My fast will be pointing to the five, fifth node. Okay. See, first of next should be not equal to null. We came across the null. So, we are returning. Our slow is pointing to 3. But in the question, they told if there are two middle nodes, we need to return the second node. From that, it is 4 is second node. We are returning 4, 5, 6. That's new link in list. Okay. This is the logic of the second code. Let's, we can understand in the coding in coding section. What I done just, I taken two variables. Uh, one is slow and fast. Both are initialized to end. Okay. After that, I'm checking the condition. For should be not equal to this for odd and first of next should be not equal to null. This is for even. Okay. Slow will be point by one step and fast will be pointing to two steps. Finally, what they can I will return slow. Let's we can see this example. See here, my slow will be for starting. It is to one and first also one. Fast should be not equal to null and fast of next should be not equal to Yeah, this condition is true. So now my slow will be pointing to 2. Okay. My fast will be pointing to 3. It will be moved by one step. Okay. Yeah. Still we are in the condition is true. So now our slow will be pointing to 3. My fast will be pointing to 5. Yeah, we reached this condition. So we will come out of this while loop. We are returning our slow. Our slow is 3. From that we are returning 3, 
four, five, and new linker list. So this is the logic of this code. We can uh, understand in second example also for even linker list. It is here slow will be pointing to one, and fast will be pointing to one. Okay. Yeah, this condition is true. Now slow will be moved by one step. Now slow will be two, and my fast will be to third node. Okay. Yeah, this condition is true. Now my slow will be pointing to three. My first will be pointing to five. Yeah, this is first of next should be not equal to one. We came, so we will come out of this while loop. We are returning slow. If slow is three, but in the even we are getting two nodes. Okay, if we are getting two nodes, means we need to return the second from that second node onwards. Okay, four, five, six we are returning. Okay, this is the logic of this code. Now we can discuss the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. Here the time complexity is taking big of n by two, okay? Because we are using first, okay? It will move uh, ne one next to other, okay? So it is taking time complexity of big of n by two, where two is a constant. Approximately we can tell big of n. Where it comes to the space complexity, it is taking big of one because we are not using any extra space, so it takes space of big of one. Thank you guys for watching my video.